All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakurash, Tawari Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through her spirit. Tawari Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us this truth as worms. Double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the whole for elect. I'm just going to do this lesson on these strikes. And uh, you're going you're gonna to continue to have strikes. There's a strike over by my house by the gas company. Uh, I don't, I don't really know too much about it, but I just know I drive by every day after work. I'm like, you know, these dudes are striking. Cool. I'm striking in the rain, too. I, was like, I can appreciate somebody striking in the rain. And the thing is with these strikes, some people get what they want, some people don't. But it's just like a house. It's just like if you have a house with five kids. If one kid does something to get away with it, everybody's going to try to do that and get away with it. Because you know your parents are going to fall for it. So these strikes are, are going to continue to happen. Because if one person, if one company can do it and get some money, of course the next company is going to do it. And in the next company, in the next company, in the next company, the more money they give these people, the more the price is going to go up, the more inflation is going to go up, the more the more it's going to cost more dollar bills to print. And now, now it's going to cost more for, for your goods and your services. So it's, it's 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 all leading to a down spiral, man. Because now you see that after the the UWA strike, now everybody wants to do a fucking strike. They just had the port strike. They got what they wanted. They got they wanted eighty, but now they got sixty percent. So you, more companies and more people are going to strike because honestly, you can't afford you can't afford to live in this society. While these companies are making millions and billions of dollars off your ass. You're barely making it by. So, of course, people are going to keep coming up with strikes, revolting. And it's going to get to a point where people are going to get physical. Right now, it's peaceful protesting. But eventually, it's going to get physical. It's going to get violent. Because the, everything's going to keep going up and up and up and up and up. To where you really can't live at all. This is Second Ezra 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he had made. Therefore, when there shall be seen of earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So one thing particular is these upquakes, uh, uh, not upquakes, uproars of the people in the world. What is an uproar? Let's get the word. Let's get the word uproar. Let's get in the etymology. Uproar. Let's see. It says uproar, fifteen twenties, outbreak of disorder, revolt. Uh, what's this? Commotion, a tumult, riot, literally stirring up, and that's what's happening, man. That's what it's going to lead to. It's going to lead to a revolt. And, and and it starts right now people are being peacefully a strike is revolting it may be peaceful but that's a revolt because you're you're not doing what your company wants you to do because they're not paying you so what you're you're not working meaning what you're revolting against them it may not be violent but you're like I'm not doing that because you're not paying me enough so I'm going to revolt and leave and we're going to strike against you. And and eventually it's going to get physical. I'm going to say it again. It's going to get physical. The scriptures say it is. These 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 strikes and these uproars are going to get more physical, man. They're starting off peaceful, but it's going to get to a point of physical. Because it's getting very tight in the U.S. to live. And you see... Look Look at the state of the world. You could be a, a YouTuber and make millions. But if you're a hardworking civilian doing your nine to five, you know, working your job and, and, and barely making it by. Or you got these people who build up houses, these construction workers 
who who bust their ass while you you check the internet a uh, only fans model just made a million dollars for showing her feet that type of shit gets to you man seeing that over and over that's gonna break people in their mind and it is it's steadily breaking people in their mind to a point where you're going to say i've had enough this is madness why is this only fans bitch some nobody making a million dollars while i'm busting my back i'm busting my ass i'm i'm putting in hours i'm building the only fans bitch house i'm building this bitch apartment she's about to live in and barely making it this is i've had enough and people are going to come to that to that uh conclusion where they've going to they've going to have that people are having enough of this society people are getting very fed up with this society it's just that's just a fact this is second as 15 and verse 16 well i start at 15 15 for the sword and their destruction draws nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand which is weapons is going to get physical is going to the, everything that we see now these strikes these these uh, oh we're not going to do this or we're not paying they are are going to get physical they're going to run up in that fucking building man um, maybe take the ceo grab him up and sling his ass by a tree man straight up it's going to get gruesome out here man maybe chop his fucking head off it's going to get bad the times that we're entering in on the planet Earth is going to get really, really dark. They showed in the in the movies like uh, The Purge. What do they do when it's when it's the purge time? What do people do? Go go right to their jobs. Uh, what did they do in in the one where the old nigga was being uh, uh, with the bitches? The old nigga was being mean to them, and it was the purge that night. They went right to his shop. People are going to go for the people that have hurt them. And who has hurt who has hurt a lot of these people? Their bosses, their managers, the CEOs of the company that won't give them what is due, their money. And that's what's gonna lead to a lot of this chaos breaking out. People being money being affected. When people's money start getting affected, ooh, that that wakes up a special spirit inside of you. Because that's your livelihood. When your livelihood is starting to be touched. That's going to make something snap. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So they're not going to care about you government officials. They're going to come for you. Like when they tried to capture Whitmore. These people are going to come for you. Because these are the prophecies that are written. That will be fulfilled in these last days. Uh, I'm about to get that um, bread and water. We're we're uh, since a rock, basically the things that you need for life itself. Okay, right here. This is Sirach 29 and verse uh, 21. The chief things for life is water and bread and clothing, and a and a house to cover shame. Better is the life of a poor man in in a mean cottage than than a delicate fair uh fair of in another man's house. Basically living with another man, living in another man's home because what you you subject to that person's uh, uh rules. Be in well basically the point is in verse twenty one, the chief things for life is water and bread and clothing and a house to cover shame and how do you get those things in this society through money so when you can't uh receive these things when you can't receive your water your bread your clothing and your and your house when you can't have these things because you're not making any money people are going to snap or you have these things in very little surplus because your money is being affected your livelihood is being affected people are going to lose it they're going to lose it when people start messing with your livelihood oh that's man for real you you get there's a certain spirit that come when people fuck with your money or your paper or your house like things that you work for oh people lose it just there's all types of videos on youtube about that and this motherfucker killed his killed his manager 
or do snaps on his manager because what they're fucking with their livelihood and that when that really starts to happen when when people's livelihoods start getting touched when your money and your your income start getting touched people are gonna snap and it's gonna soon happen it's happening now this is why you have to you could go to the grocery store with a hundred dollars and get three fucking things i'll say four i'll be generous you get four things $25 $25 each and it only lasts for a week because this society is not sustainable it's only it's going on a down spiral even George Collins said it a CTD and is circling the drain the United States sorry Babylon the Great is circling the drain the country that we live in is circling the drain it's, it cannot stand man George Collins quoted, quoted that. It's only going to get worse and it's steadily going to get worse more and the more. It's not going to get better. So prepare yourself, brothers. Prepare yourself for the times that we're entering in. So with that, all praise be to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekha And with that, Shalom.